Hey everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing a daily love reading for you guys. Um, I am doing it all in one video simply because with me being sick the last two to three weeks, I really um, am trying to catch up on private readings and getting those orders out. So I am going to do your daily reading all in one. So I'm going to tip you down here. All right. We will start with our fire signs. Leo, let's start with you first. Your first card out is the Four of Cups. The person you are dealing with is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse with your guys' outcome for the 14th. Holy cow, way too many. Your guys' outcome for the 14th is going to be... The Eight of Pentacles, beautiful. Bottom of the deck energy is the Two of Pentacles in reverse. No longer um, being, no longer being this back and forth energy, this up and down. Um, you are kind of um, taking a position of not wanting to be that third party anymore. You're taking back your power. Um, you may not be seeing everything just yet, but you will be seeing it in the future. Um, the person you are dealing with is having a hard time breaking away or cutting away from a family situation that they um, have not completed a cycle with yet. Uh, dealing with karma here, they need to um, end that cycle before they can begin this with you. Um, so you are just working hard on uh, manifesting what it is that you want. You are taking the opportunity to learn from your lessons that have been given to you. This person um, is in a pause. They're not really learning their lessons that the universe is showing them. Um, so you're no longer really focusing on that cup, uh, three of cups, situation leo you guys are going to be taking that your ace of cup here and because you're manifesting uh, a new situation into your life learning your lessons and using those tools to uh to your benefit to manifest something all right aries let's do aries next aries for thursday the 14th all right temperance Beautiful energy for you guys as well. Um, working on your emotions, your balance, your uh, patience, and doing a very good job. The person you're dealing with is the Five of Wands in reverse. Your guys' outcome is the sun. Wow. So you guys really have been working hard on self-healing, have been taking the time to balance out your emotions, to realize what it is that you want, to nourish your own heart and soul. Um, and Archangel Michael is here uh, helping you guys uh, navigate through this darkness. But the person you're dealing with, they had a lot of inner demons they had to get over. They had a lot of inner conflict. They also had a lot of people in their business. They are um, they are learning to shut that out and listen to their own voice. And the universe is here pushing you in the right path. It is also illuminating things that for your person that you're, uh, you're dealing with, illuminating a path for them to get out of this conflict, to um, begin to do what they want. The sun is all about taking your own path and uh, because you want to, not listening to everybody else, but following your own heart and soul, your guidance. Um, you could be a very big uh, influence on this person as well. Um, and you've re you've remained really uh, patient throughout this whole thing. It is going to uh, lead you into a bright new future with this person, Aries. Beautiful reading for you guys. All right, Sagittarius, you're next. You have the Five of Cups in reverse. I had another flipper in here. Oh, you have Temperance as well. And your outcome for Thursday is the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Bottom of the deck is the King of Cups. So dealing with somebody that has a lot of love and emotion for you, you are getting over a heartbreak. You are getting over a situation of the past that broke your heart this had to do with a third party with somebody who left you out in the cold um you could have done this to somebody as well but um this is just getting over that time of heartache and focusing on your future focusing on um a new uh a new path the person you're dealing with uh you could have just met this person after getting over this heartache and their help bringing you out of the cold but this person is a a very uh deep connection from the universe, very deeply bonded, the two of you um, could be soulmate um, energy, but uh, being blessed by the angels 
for sure. But this person is definitely bringing you or you're bringing them out of this time of darkness, um, moving in a different direction into a relationship that doesn't have any lack. You, you're coming out of a relationship where you felt they weren't um, emotionally invested as they should be. And you are coming out of that um, situation, whether it be somebody new or this person has elevated, but this is a whole different relationship. This is a whole new ball game for you Sagittarius's, and it's going to be a very, uh, very deep connection and very successful with that King of Cups on the bottom. All right, let's go to our air signs. We got Gemini. What do our Geminis have going on for Thursday? All right, Gemini, you guys have strength, person you're dealing with, death, and your outcome, Queen of Wands. Wow. Okay, so you guys, um, you guys have been enduring, um, having to face your fear, coming out of a situation that um, left you feeling kind of fearful. You could have just been getting out of a relationship, but you are taking back control of your life. You are also coming into a relationship with ever, you know, eternal love, with that, um, that sign above her head, really taking control of the situation, really taking control of your life, moving in a new direction, having confidence and approaching somebody new. The person you are approaching is going through a very deep transformation. They are leaving the old them behind and coming on the new horizon of themselves. As you see, the sun is shining. They are leaving things in the past and elevating um, to a new sense of self all in their own. This is going to be very successful. This person or you, Gemini, um, you could have fire in your chart, or this is a fire sign or a Scorpio. No other signs am I seeing. A Leo, a Sagittarius, or a Scorpio um, or Aries for this group of you. But this person is very confident. They are very, people are drawn to them. They're very attractive, um, heart, mind, body, soul. Everything about them is a perfect fit for you guys. Um, balancing out very beautifully. Um, give them time. If they are a little slow into moving into a relationship, they are going through a major transformation. But for you, Gemini, this person is amazing for you, especially if they're Sagittarius. It's your natural seventh house, um, one in seven of partnerships, um, beautiful energy for you, Gemini's Libras. You are speaking and walking your truth. You are, um, wow. Libras here. You are, um, you are standing up for yourself. You're standing up for what you want, what you need. You're walking, talking, and speaking your truth. And that is going to bring you success from the divine. However, the person you're dealing with is um, moving out of your energy. They are moving forward single. Could be a Cancer, um, Sagittarius again. Uh, that's really all I'm seeing here too. So you are standing up for what you want, what you need, and um, not taking any less. This person um, is not wanting to invest that much into the connection. So they are moving forward, but you are sitting here in your element looking fabulous. You, are, you did what you had to do because this is going to bring in somebody new for you. You have to be a man of action. You had to cut yourself out of the situation because you were not getting what you needed, Libra. And now with them exiting your life, you will be able to manifest what it is that you need and deserve. And it will come in for you. Aquarius. Aquarius, your first card out is the tower. Trying to... Uh, Trying to um, get over the aftermath of a tower moment or trying to keep it from happening. Okay, you guys got four. So um, this is uh, trying to keep a relationship from ending. Something, a marriage or a commitment, um, something longstanding, a contract of some sort. There is a lot of confusion here by your partner. Um, this tower moment was uh, brought on by or is trying to be held off by you. Um, Aquarius, you are also in your element here. There will be healing. There will be guidance from the divine. Um, be careful of the person you're dealing with because they may not be showing you all their cards or they may not be who they say they are, causing you confusion and trying to hold off on this tower when really you should be moving into this forward movement of healing. This person is not showing you all their cards. There's something this person is hiding from you and they, I do feel they are the one that is keeping this tower from you. You are the one that has been committed. You are the one that has been faithful to this contract, to this uh, uh, relationship. They are trying to keep the tower from falling because they're hiding something. In the end, though, Aquarius, you are going to find healing and guidance from the divine with that card and be in your own element. So don't fear that tower. It is only bringing good things in for you. 
All right, Earth signs. Let's do Taurus. Taurus, you have the moon, your person, the knight of pentacles, your outcome, the fool. So um, for some of you, there is something that you are hiding or somebody is hiding something from you. Keeping this relationship moving in a forward movement could be dealing with another earth sign or cancer, Pisces, Aries. Um, but there is some secrets here. There is some deceit here um, and it is going to come out very soon. This person is not moving in any direction because they're truly stuck. They don't know whether they want to invest in you or whether they want to invest in somebody else. Taurus, you are going to gain the strength to move forward single with this fool card. Um, however, the fool does signify somebody who has to learn their lessons yet. So this karmic cycle could be repeating again, and you're starting over without, uh, with, you know, at the beginning, for some of you, you are learning your karmic lesson and you are leaving behind this earth sign that is in a stagnant position, keeping secrets from you. You know these secrets are here, um, but you're just not saying anything. And you are going to take that leap of faith within yourself and head out in the fool and be single, um, looking for that relationship that um, is meant for you. All right, Virgos. All right. Jeez. You have the King of Wands, the Seven of Wands, and the Devil. You're bottom of the deck, the Eight of Swords. You could be connected to a Taurus, and you're the one stuck. But for um, uh, the majority of you, you are very, um, you're taking a stand on what it is that you feel is right. Um, you are very um, action oriented. You're, you're taking action before you're thinking. The person you're dealing with, they are on guard. They are feeling very defensive towards you. You could be um, blaming them for something. This is toxic. This is a toxic situation um, where Virgo, you feel you're right. The person that you're dealing with feels they're right. And now it's just causing all this drama. There is intense drama here. Somebody that you're tied to, somebody that you're married to. Um, I am going to, yeah, this is somebody you have children with. Um, yeah, this cycle is going to complete. This is a karmic cycle with the world here, clarifying the devil. Um, you are encouraged, uh, Virgo, to allow cycles to end and to break free from whatever toxic energy that you are keeping in your life. It's like you're fighting for that toxic energy to stay um, when you need to get that toxicity out of your life so it, it stops creating more drama or karma for you and drama. All right, Capricorns. All right, you have the Four of Cups. Your person has the Fool. You could also be dealing with the Taurus, being they're the same cards. Okay, so the person you're dealing with, they're no longer, or they're not seeing something that's in front of them. But uh, Capricorn, you are focused on a third party. You could have a secret of a third party, and you're not seeing the gift that the universe is trying to give you. You're supposed to um, acknowledge all the blessings in every lesson and um, see what the universe is trying to show you. There's something standing in the way. There's something that you're not able to see. Um, someone is... It feels like somebody left your life. Somebody ghosted you, possibly. Um you're going to move past that because they're not, they're not wanting to give this a second chance simply because, um, they're, they have their energy spread way too, too thin. I do feel you're going to change paths. You're no longer going to wait for this person to return, or you're no longer going to be stuck by this situation. You are going to change your path and drop the people of your past and move forward. Um, and, and in search of a different relationship. All right, water signs, cancer, three of cups, looking towards new people. Oh, wow. Hello, cancer. Um, much celebration when you start going out with friends, looking for a new partner, no longer concentrating on your past, letting that all go. You guys have had a rough time dealing with karma in this, uh, you know, with the north and south nodes. You're letting that all go. You're going out. You're having fun. The person you're connecting with is going to be your ten of cups. You have manifested this new relationship into your life. You've manifested this new beginning. You are single right now for this group of you, but you won't be for long. You're going to meet somebody at a party or some sort of celebration out with friends. Um, this is going to be your wish come true, your Ten of Cups, and um, it is all within your manifestation, Cancer. Very, very positive for you guys. You are creating the life that you want right now. Pisces, you could be dealing with a separation or just needing a balance in life. 
um, needing a balance in a relationship. This is uh, something that you're trying to regain balance in your own life. The person you're dealing with, they are being enlightened to what this connection is. Um, you could be needing to get divorced in order to move in the direction of this person, Pisces. But no matter what, you guys are both working on the connection, bringing the spiritual into material and learning your lessons. You're taking what it is that you have and you're working to create more, which is going to be build balance with the Eight of Pentacles. That is an even number. This is going to be a relationship that is balanced out and equal. The equal give and take of energy because they are being enlightened um, they are being shown by the universe and the two of you are coming back into each other's path as soon as you're done dealing with karma, um, Pisces, which I do see you are. So um, continue to work towards that connection and it is coming in for you. All right, Scorpio, last but not least. All right, Scorpios. You guys are coming out of a time of sadness as well. Could be dealing with who was that? That Gemini had um, these two cards as well. But um, you are coming out of a time of being in the dark. Somebody intentionally put you in the dark to keep you waiting. This caused a lot of stress and anxiety between the two of you. This person didn't know how to come towards you. But you are coming out of this looking very good, Scorpio. This person had to go through a lot of shit in their life to get to this point. You also had to go through your own karmic lessons to come out of the dark to um, regain your sense of finances, to regain your sense of stability, and to no longer um, undervalue yourself. This person has a lot of value, self-value, self-worth, self-respect, self-esteem. You are gaining that out of coming out of the darkness, no longer allowing somebody to put you there. Um, the person you are dealing with is losing a lot of sleep over the connection with you. They are tied in with somebody else, but at the end of the day, you're coming out very, looking very good, Scorpio. Um, have that confidence have that self-esteem because people are going to flock to you, including this person. They just have their own demons that they have to deal with and they are coming to the end of the cycle. They're just not quite there yet. So in the meantime, concentrate on yourself, look amazing, have that confidence that they're coming back and they will return. All right, guys, thank you so very much for joining me for your daily love readings for the 14th. Um, if you are waiting on a private reading, it is coming. I am just a little bit behind with being um, sick the last three weeks. So be watching your um, email for that. All right, guys, God bless.